Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty D Gaming, I'm Scotty D and today we're going to be playing Hitman 2, 2018. Now, I've played pretty much all of the Hitman games and I truly believe that the Hitman series and franchise is a staple of gaming itself. Like it's just one of those games where it's all gameplay, very little story, all the starting to introduce story in the later on games, but it's a true action puzzle solving stealth game. It's like combined them amazingly well and from the newer Hitman iteration, the one that was released in 2016, they added so much content to the games. Like there were so many different ways you can solve missions and do objectives. It, it is mind blown. So I'm excited to play number two. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Oh, and that's another good thing. With this version, a Hitman 2, it gives you the whole of the first Hitman 2016 game, including the prologue, and also Patient Zero. Now, I don't believe I've ever played Patient Zero. I don't even know if it's a new thing or not, but I will be playing that after I complete Hitman 2. Let's do it. Mission 1, Night Call. Right, we're just going to play it on professional difficulty. Right, let's do it. How do we go? Uh, play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the play button will probably help you play the mission like. <laughs> The story so far. Agent 47 and his handler, Diana Burnwood, are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. When all of their recent missions turn out to be contracts for a shadow client, things take an unexpected turn. All their targets have been operatives in an invisible organization known as Providence. Providence has infiltrated the highest echelons of power and secretly owns our world. The Shadow Client wages a silent war against them. And so the Constant, Providence's enigmatic controller, seeks Diana out. His request, track down and eliminate the Shadow Client. In return, he offers something irresistible. The truth of 47's lost origins. Neither know that the man they hunt is 47's childhood friend. And unlike 47, he remembers everything. Oh, I absolutely love it. Look at the graphics, man. And it's so smooth. The optimization is real, lads. This is what games should be like. Crisp. The location. No hostile presence. Understood. Alma Reynard's house is just up the beach. Our intel indicates that she and her team are laying low, most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Clan's top lieutenants, and yet she's not a target. Not yet, anyway. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the Shadow Client. Up for some B&E, 47. On my way. So that's right, because at the end of the first Hitman, you never ever got to the bottom to find out who the Shadow Client was. So it looks like this game's continuing straight from where we left off. Right. So we're just searching for in intel. That's wrong. We're not actually here to kill anybody. So this is going to be a true stealth mission. Or we'll try to make it a true stealth mission. Oh, aye. Nano vision. We've got that still.
Right, I think we'll start going low here. Right, so I'm getting a window over there. There's something glowing over there. Oh, security camera. Oh, Alright, okay. Do I have to do this though? Maybe this is like the small tutorial. It's a bit sensitive, right? Good aim. Now, according to the local home security provider, the house is equipped with multiple cameras placed around the perimeter. I suggest you get rid of them, 47. Get rid of all the cameras. I'm not sure anybody's actually going to be in this house. Is this... Is it fully empty? Oh, I'm crack shot. Right, what we'll do is we'll just do a perimeter search. I feel I'm a bit... Too close to the house. Easier to get surprised when you're close to walls. Let's just keep a, a wide berth. Oh, it feels good to be back with 47. Mum, man. Yeah, the only thing that strikes us straight away is the aiming's quite. There's a lot of dead zone on the control pad. Don't know if it's intentional or not, but it's quite strange. I tell you what, I'm going to check around the back for cameras. I'm probably going to get picked up by a camera here. Yeah, watch it. Is that one there? No. That might be it, you know. Oh no, there's one more. Right, I'm happy with that. That's gotta be the mall, hasn't it? Right, let's get in. I don't have a lockpick. Nightmare. Need a screwdriver. Right, so if I get a screwdriver, I can get in no there. Cars. They could be out. Could be lying low. The satellite scans were inconclusive. Only one way to find out, I'm afraid. Can I just break in? Oh, is that open? Is that actually open? This is striking me as a... a trap. I'm not gonna lie. Well, there's a screwdriver. They're either in bed. I bet you there's someone in bed. I have to stay quiet. Bye. 
bodies. Oh, fuck. Male and female. Early 30s. Executed. I see them. Oh, poor bastards. Looks like Reynard's grisly handiwork, all right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. The house is registered to a non-existing environmental NGO. This feels more like identity theft. Like you, Reynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now. Masks. Rope. Chloroform. Looks hmm. like another kidnapping. I wouldn't put it past them. The Shadow Client is nothing, if not industrious. Why is he doing this? Clearly, he has an axe to grind with Providence. Big enough to surround himself with murderers and terrorists. Big enough not to care who gets hurt in the process. He believes he's doing the right thing, I suppose. Just like everyone else. The people who own this house are probably... Well, oh, don't do that. Try to pick the bloody wrench up. We're innocent. Now, wrenches in this game are top tier. You can knock people out from across the... From across the way, which is phenomenal. Okay, so we're hiding there. Hiding there. So you can break into things with a crowbar. Expired can of spaghetti sauce. I wonder if these guys have been here for a while. If the, if the shadow broker, shadow client, has been camping out here for, for weeks. Oh fuck. Poison honey. I don't really know who I'm poisoning here, so let's just wait. Oh, someone's been having a fucking party. Oh sh I thought that was someone sat in a chair, it's not. Militia operations report. Looks like research reports. Berlin, Shanghai. Every major malicious strike since Thomas Cross's kidnapping. Looks like Reynard had a hand in all of them. All in the past, I'm afraid. Keep looking, 47. Oh, right, we we'll know where that is. Oh shit. Uh, Kiora, uh, Ari from Kiwi Repair here. Uh, don't know when you folks are back in town, but uh, give me a shout so I can swing by and uh, fix that pesky bathroom ventilation system for you. <laughs> we can't have the whole house smelling a nail polish now, can we? <laughs> oh, well. And anywho, like I said, uh, just give me a shout. That's Ari, uh, the repair guy. Yeah, let's close this. Didn't want anybody seeing in. So, the bathroom's got a ventilation system. That could be handy if we need to escape. Right, let's go upstairs. Bathroom. I've got a computer. A computer. See if you can't access it. Encrypted. Hmm. Assuming there's a key, Reynard wouldn't just leave it lying around. Wait. 
According to the floor plan, the room you're in should be a lot bigger. There might be a concealed space behind the wall. Check for hidden panels, 47. Huh. Ah, oh, yes. So. This should be interesting. It will destroy this. Nicely done, 47. Should allow oh, finding you to a lock more then. freely. Here we go. For the office computer, no doubt. Oh, look at all these weapons. And you have everything. Now I know in previous Hitman games, I don't know if it's this one. But whatever weapon you picked up, you kept. Have I got the ninja sword? I've got a bloody katana. That is hilarious. I just want to drop. Drop. Not going to be using the shotgun. So, so we can close in here. And where does this take us? Straight out of the garage, right. We've got... We've got an escape route set. In case our kicks off. Let's go. I'm in. Hurry. I'm detecting movement up the road. A motorcade. Possibly Reynards. Uploading the data. Hold on. Receiving it now. Hmm. Nothing on the Shadow Client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, here's something. A message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. And by the sound of it, he's a Providence operative. A defector. Well, well, well. Client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Multiple hostiles. I see them. Damn. Okay, we've got all we're going to get. Go to stage 2, 47. Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the Shadow Client for once. Let's keep it that way. Ugh, I thought this night would never end. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the yeah, team. Yeah, well, I say stick to what you know. Oh shit. I've got to kill both of them. Oh no no, just her. Just the female. Where the hell am I? Where the hell is the putters? Right. See what we're doing. Let's lock ourselves in here. And we'll just scout the area out so she's down there. What's this? Hmm. Appears Reynard's cell is launching another strike. Those are sewer maps of a residential area in Wellington. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Our priority is the Shadow Client. Right, we might be able to. I'll tell you what, we need to work on an exit. Don't know how to get up against things. I'm not sure. I don't know how to lock to. I don't know how to snap the scenery. But this guy is going down. Right, let's hope I remember the buttons. Go to 
sleep. He's making a hell of a lot of racket. I could have put him in the van like, but I'll put him in this cupboard. Enjoy your nap, mate. Right, guys are coming down. He's walking along there. Tell you what, close that door. We don't need that. We've already got a back way into the into the place. Right. Oh, <gasps> the door shut. Oh, that's some bullshit. Oh, I've locked myself out. That's a, that's a bloody kick in the butt. Right, there's a guy coming around here. I've got so much gear. Coins are the best. Coin, go and search the coin. Oh, yes, perfect next to the van. Right, so I need to be careful with that. I need to be careful with getting weapons left around. I, I forgot about that. You can use that to your, to your advantage. If you need to get a weapon inside somewhere. Right. Tell you what. I'm gonna get disguised as a bodyguard. If that's the case, I need to get rid of this katana. Nice. Right, give us that coin back. Right, so these guys recognise me. She's going upstairs. How do I get upstairs? Ah, because they're her right hand men. They're going to know the crack. Back in the safe room, if we can lure her. Right, I'm not, we're not going to have any success here with that. We can get on the balcony. This is nice. Oh, he, him on the roof's not a good. He's gonna spot us.
Fuck. Fuck. What am I doing in here? Where's he going? Hold on. They're not in the same room. Is that a is that an arse paddle, Spanker? Oh my god. When stolen cars at Highway Road were employed by Powder Man Dictator Jim Crow against peaceful civilians in the Tongan Valley Massacre. So far, cause that is and this just in. In downtown London, a man has allegedly plummeted to his death from the headquarters of Dynasty Global, the world's largest internet retailer. While the identity is unconfirmed, several eyewitness tweets claim that the deceased is none other than Rupert Pierce, Dynasty, who's founder and CEO. We will keep you updated as this story develops. I am Pam Kingsley, GNN News. Well, that's that. Smoke on the balcony? Yeah, sure. How about a scotch? No, I just Ooh. brush my teeth. Oh, they could have a, a smoke on the balcony. Good for the blood flow. Oh, if she goes on the balcony, I could just push her off. Watch this. What oh, can I poison something? Right, they're gonna he's gonna see this. I can get rid of that bodyguard when he gets back in. Hey, any sign of Mac? No man. The one on the right stand about to take the streets down the road. Mac Cow? Hell no. Well, as long as he's happy. Well he's having a drink there, is he? Come on, notice this flood. One of you daft twats left a sink on. And she's not coming in here. Good, Elmo. You need your grass <gasps> and bags in the medical cabinet. No need. I'm dog tired. The second I close my eyes, I'll be dead to the world. Nice second, Sean. Shut up. I didn't even notice that. Fuck. Is she asleep or not? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, let's just let's just scout this out. Shit they're awake. If, if I smother her, he's going to wake up, isn't he? Oh, I've got an idea. Shh, watch this, watch this, watch this. I'm going to set the alarm. On his watch.
Right, watch this. He's gonna get up. Discover this sink. Wakey, wakey. Is this guy kidding me? Is this guy for serious? What could I use? No! They are out for the count. Nothing is waking them up like. Because she said should be out for the count, you think I should smother him first? Oh my god, smothering. Does it kill them? Oh, wait there, wait there, wait there. I tell you what, smothering actually just kills them, right? It doesn't just suffocate them and let them live afterwards, right? And I think I can get away with doing her. Oh, yes! Oh, I'm the night intruder. Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. Oh, I'm the night intruder. Right, I think the best way out of the property is... I'm going off the balcony. Oh, can you jump down? No, you can't. Oh, there's guys in the bloody... There's guys outside. Lots of them. Fuck. Right, you saw nothing, mate. What's this? Fire poker. Dude, I'm just gonna casually stroll. I'm casually strolling to the exit. Oh my god, this is phenomenal. I can get out of here as well because I've got the key. Well, I used lockpick like I had the keys, but... I can exit that way. Aye, that's the boathouse. Yo, yeah, well, go lads, I think we've done a very smooth assassination. Why, why is everyone crawling the bloody beach? Right, this guy knows who I am. Everyone knows who I am, fuck. Oh, they're burying their fucking bodies, aren't they? The Mercs have discovered your boat, 47. They're on high alert, combing the beach for intruders. Proceed with caution. Okay. Right, just remain cool if we just walk to the boat. What the hell happened there? Did you see that? 
Look, there's gasoline in the back of that van. Hold on, wait, I want to check the boat, right? If they're actually on the boat. Oh, I they all know who I am. I think it's not going to be as easy as just getting on this boat, like. Oh, fuck that. Right. We need a distraction. And I've got the perfect thing. I need to get in this bush. Oh, we've got a tranquilizer going. This is what I want. Shit, was that a good was that a good idea? That guy's coming straight for us. I tell you what we're doing, we're just gonna walk. You didn't see a thing. Right, let's go. Right, we're home free, baby. Let's do it. Exit, exit, <laughs> exit the game. <laughs> oh, Asian 47, man, we are at it again. This mission was completed while off like all oh, well, and now that. Oosh. Right, so nice one. Absolutely destroyed that mission there. See you in the next episode for the next one, lads.